Hey guys, this is Vic from Drop Spotlight. We're here live at Celebrity Fan Fest 2022. And look who we found today. Hello. We're Mr. Ross McQuan. How's it going to today? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. I have to say before I answer the questions, just watching you interact with all fans here that are coming to see you is just amazing. Thank you. You just, with the lightsaber going around with the young children out here, it's just. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want to lose the mic, but yeah, this thing is like, I got this from a vendor yesterday called uh, Crimson Dawn. I can't turn it on, but oh, I, oh there we go. Oh, and I, awesome. just, awesome. I just love this thing so much. I feel like a hit again, and it's like a good weight to it too. Here, check it out. Oh, it's yeah. Like it feels like you're an actual Jedi, you know? Oh, or Sith. I don't want to be, you know? Jedi, Sith, whatever you might be, you know. I'm so. getting on the wrong car right now. I, I should mean, be out the training. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. So I just, I, I don't know. I'm a, I, I grew up with Star Wars and Star Trek, and I don't know. I just love this stuff, so awesome. it's, it's fun for me, you know. I like oh, yeah. It. yeah. Anyway, that's what we, we enjoy seeing, you know, the interaction with the fans and a lot of the fans. People are coming by like, can we see some more? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Awesome. So first things first, how did you get into acting? Uh, first time I acted was in a church play. Uh, I was the birth of Jesus Nativity play from, I was like seven years old, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I had one line and I messed it up big time. It was like, I, I, I really screwed it up and I got a huge laugh from the congregation. And I knew I messed up, but I, that feeling of like entertaining people made me feel so good that I was like, I want more of that. I want more of that feeling. Mm -hmm. And then I later did uh, uh, impressions of the Boy Scouts, uh, campfire ceremonies, and then in middle school and high school I just kept doing more plays. And so when I got to college I said, I want to get a BFA in theater, and I tried out for the, the BFA and I got in and the rest of the history. Yeah, so. oh, that's great to hear, that's great to hear. Uh, we're big fans of a lot of the, the, uh, the fandoms that you had been part of, including The Walking Dead and Marvel. Yeah. Uh, how did you get into it? Lots of auditioning, lots and lots of auditioning. I mean, like, um, um, yeah, I mean, I, I just basically 15 years of like nonstop auditioning and beating the pavement and finally got that big break on The Walking Dead uh, eight years ago, mm -hmm. which I'm so grateful for, you know. Awesome. Did you do have to do any specific training as to your character on The Walking yeah, Dead? I mean, uh, a lot of it, you know, stunt training, of course, horseback riding. Um, that's been you know, probably the, the biggest stuff of the training wise, but uh, I, I love that stuff because it always makes you a better actor when you're, you're increasing your skill set, you know. So. Awesome. That's, that's, that's awesome great to hear because you're not only adding to your acting, your, your, your portfolio, but you're also showcasing something that many people haven't seen before. Yeah, yeah, because I think for many years people just knew me as like the impression guy and I really wanted people to know that I'm like, oh, I can do other stuff too, but you know, they, you can't really just tell people that they need to see it. And I'm really grateful that between Marvel and, uh, and Walking Dead, they've gotten to see more of like the stuff that we're able to do and everything, and it's, it's neat, so. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then is there um, anything you could talk about your uh, future projects you're working on? Yeah, yeah, not, m well, yeah, so we just, I'm like, <laughs> what can I say, we're gonna, um, Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation just came out yesterday. I play a Han Solo in that. Um, I can talk. Oh, oh, we just finished recording season two of Invincible, which if you haven't seen it, you need to watch Invincible. It's amazing. Same same man who created Walking Dead, Robert Kirkman, created Invincible. It's a fantastic show. I always say it's like a, a more twisted, animated version of The Boys. So check it out. Uh, and we're about to start recording season three of that very soon. And there's another project that I'm working on that I definitely cannot talk about. That's all I'm gonna say about that. It's, yeah. it's all good, all good. I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking out. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and last question. Where can our fans find you on social media to keep up with you? Oh, just my name, uh, R O S S M A R Q A N D across all socials. I, I, I jumped on that years ago when a friend told me I should do that. And I was like, eh, I'll never use Twitter. And I was like, no, I'm glad that he told me to do that because I totally use Twitter now. So yeah, that's my, just my name. That was great to hear. And I know one more thing. I, I was talking to the people behind me, and they had a story that you had talked about when you met uh, a famous person that did Gomez that had talked. Grimace? Oh, uh, Gomez from. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I wonder if you could re retell that story. Yeah. I thought that was, <laughs> that was fantastic. And Grimace from McDonald's. Grimace? I was like, Grimace? <laughs> yeah. No, um, you had my stomach growing, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> when I was uh, 12, I was at Stapleton Airport in Denver with my brother. We were flying out to Chicago to visit my grandma for Christmas, and uh, we saw John Aston, who played the original Gomez in the Adams Family. And I 
looked at my brother, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Gomez, you know, and, then, and he's like, no way, I'm like, ah, yeah, and I was 12, so before his cell phone or anything, and I just, we just bolted down the, the, the top, you know, the, 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 the pathway, and I caught up to him, and I was like, Mr. Aston, Mr. Aston, are, are, are you Mr. Aston? He's like, yes, and I'm like, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, I just, like, I really want to be an actress, and, like, I, I, I I don't know, I just want to be an actor. He says, I bet you will someday. And I was, he sounded kind of like um, the Frosted Flakes, Tony the Tiger guy. And I was just so, like, it was such a moment that, like, stuck with me uh, that I'll never forget that. Like, his, his just, like, positive attitude about it and him just saying, I bet you will be an actor someday, like, it stuck with me. And uh, I'm really glad I met him because I feel like it, it, it changed my life in a lot of ways, you know, so... Awesome, that's a good cheer. And when I heard that story, I was like, you know what, this is what's going on today in these past few days since yeah. you've been here at Celeb Fan Fest and all other conventions where well, yeah. you're changing lives, you're, you're seeing people are seeing you and meeting you, and they you know what the future might bring to you. I, I, I don't know about that, but I hope, I, you know, we were chatting, she's an up-and-coming actor herself, mm -hmm. and we were chatting yesterday about, you know, things to do to make yourself uh, stand up from the crowd and also just like not taking things personally I told like rejections 95% of the job and as long as you're not taking that personally you'll do fine it's just a numbers game you know just stats you gotta like keep doing it over and over again and eventually you'll get there so yeah. and the memories that we remember yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like yeah. Ross told me that and I'm gonna do it oh yeah, oh, sorry. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah but thank you again for taking the time to talk to us guys when you're at the Comic Con circuit be sure to check out Ross he's amazing He's fun, he's interactive, and you guys are going to have some fun, guys. I got a lightsaber. You got a lightsaber, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome. This is Vic for Spotlight. We'll see you at the cons. Mm -hmm.